Okay. Let's see what we got. We got a stator made of 18 coils, each coil has 70 turns. And uh, it's configured in the star where the neutral point is right here and the three phases coming out. And then we have two discs. Each disc has 24 magnets. And each magnet is one inch, half and a half, and 48. So right now it's spinning at One eighteen. It's giving me fourteen volts and it's point two three amps. And this information is coming out of my rectifier, which is right here. I'm only using three of them. One, two, three. And uh, The leads are coming out here and here to read this information. So this power is going into a battery bank. Let me first show you the configuration. That's the Xantrax 40 amp charge controller. All these wires, uh, as per diagram, right now it's set out down there 12 volt. And this is the battery that I'm using. I have four of them. Each battery is 12 volt, 24, 36, 48. But right now, all I'm doing is doing a 12 volt. Test, just one battery. I'm pumping in 24 watts into the tape drive which is spinning this beast I'm taking out 2.4 amp 14 volts out into this battery using this charge controller following this diagram through this bridge rectifier. I don't know if I've mentioned that's 14 gauge wire. So everything seems to be working okay and I've been checking the battery and it's charging slowly but it's charging. Obviously, the power required to spin the it's a little low, so whatever I get. And the tape drive itself was consuming, I think, 12 watts without even trying to charge anything, without even taking anything out of it. It was consuming 12 watts. So, not a bad efficiency there if you do the numbers. Um, okay, so that's the 12 volt. test, load test, and I, th I think I'm happy with it, so, uh, I 
the next one will be the 24 and then 48. Later.